What's going on guys? As you can probably tell from the video, this is going to be about Wiggly Text for Final Cut Pro. I hit 5,000 subscribers this week, which is absolutely insane. So as a thank you, just like I did for 4,000 subscribers, I want to do a little giveaway of um, a title preset that I have made in motion. So this is sort of replicating Sam Colder's Wiggly Text that he's done. I'll just play, play it here for you just so you can see. So as you can see, very simple, um, just sort of like a jittery, wiggly, flashy text preset. So that was done, I'm guessing, in After Effects or Premiere Pro, and I was able to come up with something that looks um, not quite as good, but still pretty good in Final Cut Pro. So in order to get this, head over to the selfie link in the description, and it is completely free, don't have to pay anything, don't have to share anything. Hit buy now. And you can download, you're gonna get a zip file with one text preset in it. So wiggly text zip, if you go over to our downloads, we can unzip that. And now we're gonna have this folder. So that folder you need to drag and drop into your motion templates. You know, movies, motion templates, and then titles, drag and drop that MW Wiggly text into there, and that should be good. If you guys don't have any of these um, folders, because you haven't installed any presets or anything before, you can add them in. You just need to make sure you right click and you need to name it transition.localized. I know some of you guys had some problems with that in previous installations, so do that and then you should be good to go. So this text title is super easy. If we hop into Final Cut Pro, I have this clip laid out, and we're just gonna toss in the text over top of it. So as default, I put the text for Helvetica for you guys. For me, I have it as Surfing Capitals, which is a font that you guys have seen quite a bit, but I like it, and that's sort of the theme that I'm going with. So for this, you can just drag and drop over the text, change the length to whatever you want. I'll do about five seconds and then let that render through. I'm gonna change font size, bump that up to about 300. And we'll do something like that and I'll let that render through and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's sort of warpy, jiggly, and flashes up. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like on its own. sort of warps and moves. And it's pretty unique look. So if you guys want to change the speed of this, what I do is right click and create a new compound clip. And then you use the retime tool by hitting Command R. And you can basically drag this if you want it super fast. Do around twice as fast. If you want it super sped up, or you could drag it off and make it slower too if you want a slower look to it. And if you like the slower sort of wobble. If you guys have motion, feel free to go in there and mess with the settings and find something that works best for you. This is sort of the look that I like, so hopefully you guys will like it too. That's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are using this and I'll check out your videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.